Okay, Dave. Uh, going back to that conversation about the whole panning thing. Uh, I'm going to try to demonstrate it with this pan real quick. Kind of maybe elaborate, maybe vis visibly show what I was trying to say. Hopefully this turns out. Okay. Like I said, I ain't good with a 14 inch pan. Spin it around. Where this material came from is not so much important. What I'm going to try to show you here in a minute. See it goes with the glare of that damn light. Big rock, holy cow. I don't even know if there would be any black sand in it. The first four teaspoons didn't show any show anything. But for a demo purpose this might get it done. I get that whole liquefaction thing going because of the ruffles, but when I get to the opposite side, it's going to be different. There's something in that midstone. I don't know if you can see it. Hopefully you can. It's really bouncing in all the lighter, bigger pieces that don't have any real mineral content. Right up to the top. Right. Oh, there's a little bit of black sand in here. You see how it just kind of gets bouncing around? That's like the heavier stuff that's kind of rolled up to the top. The hard part is trying to get those he little pebbles out of there. A 14 inch painting scale isn't as good. See, a lot of that's a blonde. A lot of blind sand in there, but there is some of that white garnet garbage. What's that right there? This is plain blonde. Looks like we're going to have a little bit. First, we're going to get the bigger pieces out. Can't even see him. He's feeling in there. We well, don't do a hard drag on everything. I don't know if you can see it. Not. See how it's just kind of everything's just kind of moving. You get it really going like that. When you get that little side to side shimmy, see how nothing really moves? It looks like it's aerated, but it's not. Here's, you get that. Going around in a circle. That's where you really see it. I have a lot of trouble with the 14 inch pan. My wrists aren't that great a shape. See that little bit of black sand? That's the most I've seen. This stuff didn't have a lot. So, oh. apologize in advance. Do the shimmy. It's like that. Yeah, the water's coming up. 
like that. That's how I learned how to do it. Work all this extracurricular stuff out. I'm betting there ain't any. And for a minute there, there's a piece of hematite. See, it's one of those two are magnetic. Sorry, Dave. I'm easily distracted. Oh, I was totally wrong. There was some hematite in it. Magnetite. It's really hard to do. Uh, this is the tedious part I was talking about when you do it. It's tedious. Alright. That's what I was talking about. And for me in this 14 inch pan, well, what do you know? We got one speck. He's gold. He's sitting there scratching up on it. Let's see if we can get them on the camera for you. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can find him again. He's tiny. There he is. We have my camera. Let's stay focused on. It's the one little speck. Well, I hope that kind of helped. Kind of showed what I was explaining. It's really difficult for me to pan in this particular tub. And hopefully, it'll help you a little bit. Cheers.